Nevada lawmakers back in Carson City for yet another special session. The state legislature is discussing a wide variety of topics, including evictions, voting rights, and police reform. Orko Man is in the newsroom now with a recap of day one. Lawmakers actually discussed a lot on the first day of the special session. As we know, the COVID-19 pandemic has devastated our economy and many Nevada families are struggling to pay their rent. But state senators talked about a bill that could help. That bill would let certain courts implement an alternative dispute resolution program for residential eviction issues. The main goal is to help Nevadans who are facing eviction in the wake of the coronavirus. The proposed program would include mediation, which is when landlords and tenants work out the problem with the third party and without direct involvement from the courts. Nevada Supreme Court Justice James Hardesty told lawmakers a main reason for creating the program is because our state's courts will be unable to deal with the huge number of eviction cases once Governor Sisolak's moratorium on evictions ends on September 1st. If the bill passes, courts will have 30 days to put the new program in place and there would also be a stay on eviction proceedings during that time period. The eviction problem facing this state presents enormous hardships for landlords as well as their tenants. Uh, and this is a step that we hope the court system can initiate to try to mitigate those hardships. The state assembly talked about a big voting rights bill regarding the 2020 election, which would establish more in-person polling locations, send mail-in ballots to all registered voters, and allow ballot harvesting, which is when someone else returns your ballot. Lawmakers will discuss more bills in the coming days. It's a lot of ground to cover, especially because Governor Sisolak has said this special session must end by next Friday. In the newsroom, Orko Mana, 8 News Now.